Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up SAB NZBD plus Sonar plus a Plex server running on a Synology NAS, in this instance a DS418, but ideally it's going to work the same on all of them. Uh, going into this video, I'm going to assume that you already have your Synology NAS set up and that you know how to access it over an IP address, ideally a static IP address, and that you've already signed up for a Usenet server account as well as an indexer. And if you haven't, I'll have links in my video description on how to do those things. The first thing we're going to do is access our Synology NAS. So to do that, we're going to go to the IP address. So we're going to open up a new window with Chrome. I'm going to type in the IP address for my NAS, which is 192.168.1.3. Hit enter. You might have to log in, but mine was already logged in. After you're logged in, the first thing we're going to want to do is create shared folders. So we're going to go over here to control panel, hit shared folder. And for this example, I'm going to create one and I'm going to name it downloads. Hit next, 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 apply, and OK. All right. After we've done that, we can close that. We're going to go to File Station. Make sure you're in our Downloads folder, and we're going to create some new folders for where the content is going to go. So the first thing we're going to do is create, create new folder, and we're going to name this folder incomplete. Oops. And we're going to create another folder named complete. We're going to go inside the complete folder. We're going to create another folder. And for this example, we're going to name it TV shows. Let's capitalize that. TV shows. And you would do the same thing for video or movies, music, software, whatever you're downloading. The next thing we're going to want to do is add community packages. So we're going to open up the package center right here. And then we're going to go over to um, settings package sources, we're going to click add. And for the name, we're going to type Sino community. And then for this, I'll have this in the video description as well. So you guys copy and paste it. But this is the URL that we are going to want to have in their packages to Sino community.com hit OK. OK, OK. And then you'll see on the side now this community tab has popped up, which will let us add different software. And the first one we're going to want is, let's scroll down, uh, SAB NZBD. So I'm going to hit install. And this says download locations. That's okay. We're going to adjust the folders later. So you can hit next, apply. All right. After that's done, you're going to want to hit install sonar. So we're going to hit install right there for sonar. Next, next, apply. After we're done with that, we can go to all packages and we can actually just search Plex because this is not going to be in the community tab. So type Plex and hit enter. And then you want this one, Plex Media Server, hit install. After you've got those packages installed, we're going to set up the permissions for accessing the folders. So we'll go to Control Panel, we'll go to Group, we're going to go to SC Download, select it, hit Edit, go to the Permissions tab, and we're going to give it permissions to the download folder so it can access those folders we just created. Hit OK. Then we're going to go to User, we're going to hit Plex, hit Edit. Go to permissions and we're going to also give that permission to the downloads folder as well and hit OK. Now that we've got that set up, we can finish configuring our packages. We're going to go to our installed tab and here we can see all the packages we have installed. So the first one I'm going to start setting up is SAB NZBD. So click on that and then down here it'll show you the IP address for it, which is how you're going to access it. So we can go ahead and click on that. It'll be the same as your NAS is. This is just going to use a different port. And we're going to start with the setup wizard. So we're going to hit start wizard, English. And here's where you're going to enter in your uh, Usenet server account that you use. So I'm going to go ahead and type mine in and then connect to it. When your connection test successful, go ahead and hit next. Go to SAB. Go up to the configure icon and click it. 
then go over to folders we're going to set up our temporary folder which is going to be the incomplete folder so we're going to hit browse and we're going to go to the downloads that should be under volume one or whatever you've named your raid in the Synology NAS uh, we did the capital download so I'm going to click that and then we're going to select the incomplete hit accept and then the completed download folder again we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to downloads complete hit accept and then go down here to the bottom and hit save changes next we're going to want to set up the categories so we'll hit categories and since we're only doing TV shows in this instance this is the one right here TV we're going to select the path again we want to make sure we're in the downloads with a capital D in, in the complete and TV shows hit accept and then under indexer category just name it TV and hit save okay and then double check this is complete yep everything looks good and we are set up with the categories next we're gonna to want to hit our general tab and then set up the security so for here create a username I'm gonna use root for this example and I will type in a password okay and then hit save changes okay it's gonna restart SAB and ZBD but that's fine after it's restarted it's gonna prompt us to log in so go ahead and use your login information you created to test it hit login and with that we are done setting up SAB and ZBD so with that let's go back to our Synology NAS go in the package center go to our installed and now we can start setting up sonar hit that use the URL to access it okay first thing we want to do is go to settings and here are a few tips that I like to do I like to have it rename the episodes so I click yes to this and then I scroll down make sure everything else is fine yep that's fine hit save the next thing we're going to want to do is set up an indexer and this is actually what keeps track and searches for the content that you're looking for so we're going to go to indexers click this add button and then we're going to go to the news AB hit custom just fill in the name the URL the API key that the site gave you and then hit test if everything is okay it'll say testing succeeded hit save for this example we're only going to set up one indexer but uh, you can set up as much indexers as you want technically the more you have the more better odds you have at finding whatever you're looking for but you don't want to go overboard and then next we're going to go to download client and this is where we're going to add SAB and ZBD so this knows to connect to it so we're going to select SAB and ZBD name it SAB you can leave the host as local host if it's on your local network port 8080 that's fine we're going to go back to our SAB tab we're going to go to the config general and then here's the information you need so you should already know your username and your password but you want to get your API key so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it there I'm going to type in my username and password make sure the category is set to TV because if you remember under the categories here we set it as TV so that's how it will know where to place those specific files and then go ahead and hit test you should see it said succeeded right there go ahead and hit save and now lastly we're ready to set up the Plex server so go back to your NAS we're gonna go to installed gonna go to Plex media server uh, we can actually just click open that and it'll pop it up automatically and this will say hey do you have an account or whatever which I already do so I'm gonna hit continue with my email and my password so I'm gonna sign in with that now it's gonna take you through the initial setup process just hit got it uh, this is asking you to sign up for uh, the Plex premium stuff um, so I'm not gonna go over that just hit the X right there right here we can uh, name our server and if you want to be able to access it outside your network leave that checked hit next Here you're going to add the library so basically this is going to uh, show where all your media is downloaded so we can hit add library and we're going to do TV shows next browse media and remember it's in volume one in the downloads complete TV shows add and this is also why we gave Plex permission because without the permission set it won't be able to see that folder hit add to library hit next 
done. Continue. Um, for this, I uncheck the news, the podcasts, and the web shows because it's just a bunch of other stuff. I'm only interested in my local media, so I just have what I added, which is TV shows. Hit finish setup. And then when you go to TV shows right here, once you start adding media, it'll auto-populate it right here. Now, the last thing to show you is how you actually get content. So you go over to your sonar and you go to series. You click add series. And right here, you can type whatever uh, TV series shows you want to download. <clears throat> but note, only download copyright free material. Do not download copyrighted material. It is illegal. Having said that, once you search in here, it'll populate. A green add button will pop up. You click add. And there it is. And the rest you guys can figure out. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I'll also have a written up article that I'll link in my video description. And if you guys are interested in buying a Synology NAS or the hard drives for it, I will have Amazon links in my description as well.